It's been quite a year in U.S. foreign policy, with the chaotic withdrawal from Afghanistan in August widely seen as the biggest failure of President Joe Biden's first year in office. Terrorism has intensified and the, um, you know, the Taliban takeover has led to sanctions that have put Afghanistan in a position where it has an acute humanitarian crisis that could well lead to, to, to mass famine. And I think that you know, this very precipitate, chaotic U.S. withdrawal is seen as linked to those outcomes. The withdrawal is in line with the administration's goal to decrease military engagement in the Middle East. But challenges remain, including existing tensions between Israelis and Palestinians and the stalled effort to rescue the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, or JCPOA, the 2015 Iran nuclear deal with world powers that the Trump administration withdrew from in 2018. Still, following years of America first under former President Donald Trump, Biden's message is that America is back. We'll stand up for our allies and our friends and oppose attempts by stronger countries to dominate weaker ones, whether through changes to territory by force, economic coercion, technical exploitation, or disinformation. <clears throat> but we're not seeking, say it again, we are not seeking a new Cold War or a world divided into rigid blocks. But Biden has drawn fault lines, what he calls the struggle between democracies and autocracies. He rallied more than 100 countries at a virtual summit for democracy in December, excluding Chinese President Xi Jinping and Russian President Vladimir Putin, whom he met virtually on separate occasions, reinforcing a key theme in his foreign policy doctrine. Global cooperation around complex issues like the environment and pandemics that require cooperation with China, that require cooperation with Russia. But on the other hand, also make trying to keep on this theme of the United States will co cooperate with democracies. The United States is a democratic nation, and the United States does see an authoritarian challenge as a significant challenge. China, now a major adversary in military might and geopolitical influence, is Biden's foreign policy priority. But Russia, another rival, is not staying on the sidelines, mobilizing tens of thousands of troops along the Ukrainian border. Russia is not a solved problem. It's still a major actor that has uh, interests that are divergent with the United States and our European allies. Uh, and so it really can't be put in a box. I think what we're seeing here is, is uh, some behavior from the Russian Federation to remind the United States that it's still there, it still has interests that it wants to pursue, and that those interests can't be ignored. Another unsolved problem is North Korea, where the administration is unwilling to cut a deal unless Kim Jong-un commits to winding down his nuclear weapons program. Patsy Widakuswara, VOA News at the White House.